Kings one and all. Welcome back. After yesterday's exciting game, I want to get straight to the shoutouts because I have so many of them. I'd like to say hello to Hutsy, Femat 37 I don't know if I said that right. Hopefully I did. Giggle Lover, hello to you. Tammy HZHD. Jen Jen. Carol Lee, how are you doing? Hello to McKee Michaela. Meow Kitties in Cleveland, Ohio. What is going on? O-H-I-O. Edwards Daniel is in England. Moon Shelty is in Pittsburgh. Just close to Cleveland. Rivalry happening in here right now, but we're all friends at Swagbucks Live, right? WWE Chick, of course, in Virginia, where those drivers are finally out of that nightmare scenario, caught on I-95 in terrible weather, and as someone who's been caught... In, in a storm on a on a highway before, never for that long. I just that the thought of what they had to endure, grateful, I'm sure, uh, as I'm sure everybody is, that they were able to get off of the road. Finally, they were able to clear out the road and get that traffic jam cleared up. Finally, hello to Lindsay and Drew 32 JP. You're both here for the first time, as I'm sure many of you are. And I say welcome to my first timers. It is very easy to play. You're going to have a good time above all. It's multiple choice questions. You'll see it appear on the screen. Even if you can't hear me, you'll still see it happening on the screen. It'll be uh, just three answers. You'll tap the one that you think is correct to lock it in. And hopefully you get it right ten times because that's how you win. It's as simple as that. I'm going to review all of that again in just a moment. So forgive me for pre-repeating myself and letting you know. I know uh, some of you out there just love all the talking that we do when we're hosting the game, but, you know, we have to buy time until we can press the buttons. That's how it is. Sorry. Let's get over the first hump of 2022 together with the Wednesday edition of Swag Bucks Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. As always, you bring the brains and we will bring the cash. So let's take a look at our grand prize. That is 1000 these 10 multiple choice general trivia questions, you'll split it with anyone else who can do the same. Now, even if you get eliminated, stick around because after question number one, you will get one bonus SB for any question you get right. That is no matter what. However, if you are eliminated and you earn bonus SB throughout the game, at the end of the game, we will ask you to claim them in order to keep them and add them to your account. It is as simple as clicking a button that shows up on your screen and then they are yours. But... If you are a grand prize winner today, you will not have to claim anything. The bonuses you earn will be rolled into your share of that $1,000 grand prize. Also, for people who are newcomers like Lindsay, like Drew, the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it is before question number 10, you have the opportunity to rejoin and give yourself another shot at the grand prize. You can do that using free rejoins. If you don't have them, I will tell you how to get them later on. Or... You can use SB. It's generally one SB to rejoin after you get one wrong, but you'll earn the bonus SB no matter what, so it is 100% your choice. Speaking of which, right now, I choose to believe that the comments are only going to distract you, so we are going to get them off of your screen and let the game begin. Here now is question number one. What kind of cuisine does Panda Express serve? Is it Italian, Chinese, or Tex-Mex? What kind of cuisine is Panda Express known for? Founded by Andrew Peggy and Ming Tsai Shen, Panda Express brings the flavors of Asia to the masses with authentic Chinese cuisine. Yes, Chinese food is the answer. 94% of you getting it right, and that means you probably know. You maybe get the half and half, half lo mein, half fried rice with the orange chicken. Come on, can't beat it. I mean, th 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 pretty much all of their food is really, really, really good. And you can get it anywhere. And it is and it is made, you know, if you thought it was just made by some people who are maybe not uh, authentic in their Chinese heritage or in the Chinese cuisine they were making, you can rest assured now you're getting the real deal at Panda Express. But right now with our rejoins, we have over 27,700 of you in grand prize contention, over 28,000 of you total here playing the game. And great news, from here on out, every question you get right earns you one bonus SB. So let's move on right now to question number two. What is the only state with a one-syllable name? Is it Vermont, Maine, or Georgia? Only one syllable in the name of this state. 
The Carolinas have the most at five apiece, while the Dakotas and Pennsylvania are right behind them at four each, but Maine, of course, stands alone as the only monosyllabic state name. Maine is the answer. 93% of you getting that one right for the 6% who went with Vermont. That's Those are your two syllables, Ver and Mont. Unfortunately, that was not correct, but you have the opportunity to rejoin, and I already see about a third of the people out doing just that bringing us up over 26,000 people in grand prize contention. Plus, maybe a few of our stragglers, our late folks, are in there as well. Either way, we are ready to move on now to question number three worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. For which genre of music is Reba McIntyre known? Is it punk, electronica, or country? For which genre of music is Reba McIntyre best known? The second you see and hear her, there's no mistaking the music she's known for. She's purely, unabashedly, and unashamedly country through and through one of the icons of modern country music, Reba McIntyre. She's a sitcom star. She does it all. Reba does it all. And she does it with a smile on her face. Reba McIntyre, 98% of you knowing she was a country artist. Well done. That means we can move right on to question number four. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Which of these comedians was a permanent host of The Tonight Show? Was it David Brenner, Joan Rivers, or Jay Leno? Who was a permanent host of The Tonight Show? All three were fill-in hosts for Johnny Carson at different points in time, but only one of them went on to two full-time stints, and that's Jay Leno. Yes, Jay Leno is the answer. 96% of you getting that one right. Uh, not only was he a host of The Tonight Show, but before that, he was a very successful comedian. Still, uh, every week when he was doing The Tonight Show, he would go to the Comedy and Magic Club down in Hermosa Beach, California, and he would work out his set. He would work out jokes that he could tell. That's how dedicated he was to the craft. Let's move on now to question number five. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Where is the world's largest cave system? Is it in Kentucky, Antarctica, or Iran? The largest cave system in the world. Where would you find it? With more than 400 miles of known passages explored, Mammoth Cave National Park takes the cake when it comes to large cave systems. And of course, you can find it right down there in old Kentucky. Kentucky is the answer. 68% of you getting that one right. Well done. But that means 32% of you, almost one third now you have a choice to make. You can rejoin, give yourself another shot at the grand prize. I already see most of you doing that. And if you're not going to do it, remember, you can stick around and keep earning bonus SB because we are officially halfway done with this game. We are at the halfway point. Five questions down, five questions to go. The next one worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here is question number six. Which of these books was written by George Orwell? Is it Animal Farm, Black Beauty, or A Fern Grows in the Attic? So those is by George Orwell. The satirical novella from the 1940s tells the story of a group of animals who rise up against the farmers who control them. And of course, that would mean the appropriate title might be Animal Farm. Yeah, Animal Farm is the answer. 90% of you getting that one right. Well done. Of course, uh, Fern Grows in the Attic is a combination of Where the Red Fern Grows and Flowers in the Attic. And Black Beauty is a book about a horse, which is... A, a a farm animal, but that is not Animal Farm, which is the George Orwell book of the 10% of you who were eliminated, just about a third of you coming back in. We have almost 22,000 people in grand prize contention, over 28,000 of you sticking with us. Keep earning those bonus SB. Only four questions left now. Next one is worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here's question number seven. What creatures have been known to accidentally shut down nuclear power plants? Is it jellyfish, seagulls, or foxes? Who's messing around with those nuclear power plants? Many nuclear power plants use seawater cooling systems, which is great until these jerks come along and clog them up. Get lost, jellyfish! Jellyfish is the answer. 71% of you getting that one right. Well done. 26% going with seagulls, which understandable. They could fly into the cooling towers, but it is jellyfish who they're just they're just jellying around it's not their fault it is accidental it is i was a little harsh with the jellyfish 
of the 30% of you, 29% of you, who were eliminated on that one. About a third of you coming back in. Still have over 17,500 of you in grand prize contention. And only three questions remaining in this game. So let's move on to question number eight, worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Here it is. Fuyu, Talvi, and Zima are all different languages word for what? Is it fire, winter, or sleep? All these words from different languages, they all mean the same thing. What's really interesting about this is not all of these words mean winter, but it's the fact that they fit perfectly with the lyrics to Winter Wonderland. Winter, of course, is the answer. Look at in a Fuyu Winterland, Talvi Winterland, Zima Winterland. It works all the way around. 75% of you getting that one right. Well done. 25% of you eliminated, but already a quarter of those people coming right back in. Love to see that. I love to see the rebounds and the people saying, uh-uh. Not today, Swipe Bucks Live. I am going to win. I'm determined because I believe in you and I know that you can do it. Let's move on to our second to last question now. We are down to our final two questions. This is worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here is question number nine. Which of the following is not a regulation swimming stroke? Is it breaststroke, freestyle, or forehand? Which of those is not a regulation swimming stroke? While you might see the answer you're looking for in the Olympics, that's, you know, because it's part of tennis. It's not swimming. You don't forehand swim. Forehand is the answer. 13,739 of you have made it this far. You are ready for our final question. And before we get to that final question, a couple pieces of business. First of all, if you had fun playing this game, please tell your friends about it. We need more people playing Swipe Bucks Live. That's how this game continues. That's how we're able to bring you prizes every day and big prizes once a week. It's because you keep showing up and because more of you come to play the game. So post to social media with the hashtag SBLive or send a text or an email, however you feel comfortable doing it. But be sure you include your special share link no matter how you post or share the game. You can find that link after the game by clicking the invite or get more rejoins button in the main menu of this app. If people sign up using your link, you get a free rejoin and they get a free rejoin. Also, Alba Botanica face care products help banish breakouts for visibly clearer skin and have lasting benefits even after you rinse. Plus, you can earn SB when you buy them. Here's how. <clears throat> Add Alba Botanica to your list in magic receipts, then buy one Alba Botanica face care product in store at Walmart and earn 100 SB when you upload a photo of your receipt as proof of purchase. It's as simple as that. But if you buy two products, you will earn 400 SB. You have to be a U.S. player to take advantage of this opportunity. Check it out after the game. You know, self-care, always important. And having the proper face care products and soaps and lotions and, and scrubs, that's all part of self-care and super important. So check out Alba Botanica. Earn SB while you do it. Make your trip to Walmart profitable as well as getting a bunch of great stuff for your home. Simple as that. We have 13,848 people vying for a piece of our $1,000 grand prize. Almost 28,000 of you sticking through to the very end. And now we're moving on to our final question. It is worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here is question number 10. Which of the following is another term for own? Is it partake, pander, or possess? Which of these would you say? I own something. I blank it. Now, this can be used in a good way, like an item you own. Or, in the case of the exorcist, possession can be a bad thing. But either way, possess the word we were looking for. And 13,561 of you knew that answer. And you are splitting our grand prize. Well done to each and every one of you. I hope some of our newcomers were in there. Because you're taking home 8SB in grand prize money plus the bonuses you earned along the way kites patel you are a winner hg bell you are a winner as well loves nine kids if you have nine kids i hope you were all doing the dance of joy right now and superman twin does that mean that you're bizarro either way you're a winner i know you're that congratulations to every single one of our grand prize winners and congratulations to those of you who earned bonus sb throughout the game and claimed them just now you are winners as well in my book and now that you have all these new SB in your account, new year, new SB, you know what to do with them. Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Thanks for playing, everyone. We'll be back tomorrow for the Thursday game. Until then, this has been Swibucks Live, and we will see you then.